Man, oh man. Sony better bring it. Yes, right. What's up? All right. What is going on, everybody? How? Oh, y'all doing? We have a couple of dope, dope, dope gaming news items for this video. But before we get started, give the video a thumbs up. Like, like, like. Let's destroy that like button right now. All right. Let's start with some Nintendo news. That's right. The Nintendo Switch firmware update 12.0 has gone live and disappointing really did nothing it said it fixed the issue with save data backup feature so it just fixed save data backup feature the reason why i talked about this because usually when there's a whole number meaning it goes from 11 from what update 11 to 12 there's a couple of cool additions to the um, software the ui that are added but this time nothing i remember i think it was firmware 11 where they added the ability to invite friends outside of the, the game straight from the UI, which is mind-blowing for Nintendo. But this really could have been firmware update 11.1 or 11.4, 11 point something. Not a whole 12.0 and nothing really added. So it is what it is, but let's get to the meat and potatoes of the video today not the meat and potatoes because we do have some more dope news items after this but bro this whole game pass subscription service what games are going to be offered saga is about to turn up this ha xbox has shifted their narrative somehow they've managed have no exclusives at launch no compelling reason to get the console to now bro you want free games bro you want free triple a games just subscribe to game pass get an xbox series x i have to give them credit they found a way to shift the narrative i say this because the playstation now games for april have been announced pretty dope games Marvel's Avengers, say what you want about the game. I think st I still think it's a dope game. Borderlands 3. And the one title is a throwaway, The Long Dark. But Marvel's Avengers and Borderlands 3 are now in PlayStation Now. And PlayStation Now is Sony's closest thing to Game Pass. Now, this is what's so interesting. Sony has PlayStation Now free games as well as if you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, um, the free game that just came out today, Oddworld Soulstorm is also available. This is my opinion. Sony needs to copy what Xbox is doing. Somehow combine PlayStation Plus and PlayStation Now. Instead of getting, we're getting like free games i mean the games added to playstation now's library plus we're getting free games um on playstation plus they need to somehow combine those subscription services into one low price like xbox is doing and give us compelling compelling a compelling reason to purchase this subscription model now i'm not a uh, no, if it's free exclusives, like big AAA games that launch, I'm a fan of that. Because I like what Xbox is doing with um, games launching at launch, big AAA exclusives. But they haven't had any big AAA exclusives. So what they've been doing is getting these third-party games to launch. We know Outriders launched um, on Game Pass, which is huge for a third-party game. And bro, 
segue into my next news item, but it's still talking about the same subject. Bro, there is a rumor right now, a huge rumor, that Battlefield 6, the next Battlefield game, will be launching on Game Pass day and date on its launch date. This is coming from um, Game Leaker Shep. Shapishal Ed um, on the episode on an episode of the Xbox Era podcast, he said that a third-party AAA first-person shooter game is very highly likely to be launching on Game Pass service. We know it's probably not going to be Call of Duty. EA and Game Pass already and, and Xbox already have a close relationship. With the EA games coming into come being combined into Game Pass, bro. If Battlefield Six launches day one on Game Pass, that's going to be huge. And I tell you this because I saw a comment uh, on Twitter this morning. Somebody, uh, a, a, a Twitter user, said on Twitter, one negative to Game Pass is. He doesn't feel like buying any games on Xbox. He has an Xbox Series X and what's the next big game that's coming out? Um, Resident Evil Village. He's like, I'm not buying that game. I'm waiting to see, is that going to be? He, that's one negative to this though. Now X, um, Xbox gamers are like, all these triple A games, what's going to be the next triple A game coming to Game Pass? And I'm not going to be buying games. I just want my games to come in my subscription Game Pass service. So that could be one possible drawback. But if Xbox can work, I don't know how they could do this business model. I guess if people already aren't really buying um, games on Xbox like that, it's a win. I can see why Sony is more hesitant to do it because Sony exclusives, um, they sell. And this past generation, I've been I've been watching VG charts. Whenever a multi plats released on both PlayStation and Xbox, the PlayStation version usually outsold it. And so Sony would be losing more money going a subscription service. And so I can see why they're hesitant and doing it and would rather just want to charge us $70 for the game. But I tell you this, who wins at the end? Gamers win because competition. Sony's going to have to respond. Sony is going to have to respond. If Sony really wanted to, they could outdo what Xbox is offering on Game Pass. They make Their gaming um, division makes way more, twice as much money, actually more money than Xbox and Nintendo combined. And so... Uh, they can, if they wanted to, invest in, okay, we'll just scoop up all these third-party exclusive day one on PlayStation Now. They could outbid Xbox on that front just by their gaming budgets from both respective companies. So it's going to be interesting how 2021 um, evolves, but the next news item is also dope, dope, dope. A hey, fan-made remake of Metroid Prime has surfaced on the internet and the game looks dope. Metroid Prime is my favorite 3D Metroid game. My favorite Metroid game of all time is Super Metroid. So when you combine the two in one, puts a smile on my face. This was made by um, an independent small team called Team SCU. Just showing, they said that they're making this just for fun. But I tell you this, <coughs> it's only a matter of time before Nintendo shuts this down. This is not a matter of if Nintendo's going to shut this down. It's a matter of when. If this game becomes playable, Nintendo will issue a cease and desist. That's their intellectual um, property. And so I know fans are going to be upset. Oh, why did Nintendo do this? Bro, it's their, I, it's their IP. And we can't, we're not like saying, man, it's been decades since Nintendo released a Metroid, especially a 2D Metroid game. We just got one 
on the 3DS, even though we don't have one on the Switch, which is a crying shame by now. But we know Metroid Prime 4 is in the works. At this point, man, I'm not even like, I'm just, release the game. It, it, let us know. When it comes out, it'll come out. Hopefully, we get some news on Metro Prime 4 at E3, but it is what it is. And the last news item, the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X shortages are becoming worse instead of becoming better. This is coming an article from Kotaku, and the shortages are due to a shortage of display drivers and similarly tiny and previously anonymous power management chips, which are two of the most specific parts in the supply chain that are hold up, holding up global production of pretty much everything that has a computer in it. And so not just PlayStation 5s and Xbox consoles, but everything that has a computer in it, these two chips are holding up global production. They're slowly trickling in, but not how Sony and Xbox wanted them to. So, and the crazy thing is, these parts are only valued at $1 a piece. So these $1 parts are holding up mass global production. So there's nothing you could do if it's a shortage, no matter how cheap the parts are. So it is what it is, tough stuff. But those are all the news items for this video. What do you guys think about everything we talked about? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out, boy. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I got to hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait, there's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Peace.